And speaking of issues concerning China back at home, tomorrow is the deadline for the Biden administration to declassify any and all intelligence relating to how COVID began, as required by the COVID-19 Origin Act of 2023. GOP lawmakers are pressing the White House for details ahead of tomorrow's deadline. Ambassador John Bolton, the former national security advisor under Trump, spoke on News Nation about this yesterday. I think their real concern is that this report uh, may well add to the growing body of evidence that this was a leak from the famous lab at Wuhan. I do think it's very important to get out what they can get out, because uh, I think the American people need to know more about what I believe to be China's responsibility for this. And Kelsey, we will continue our reporting on this topic tomorrow to see if the White House releases this information by the deadline, and if so, what it may contain as far as China's responsibility. That information may very well change the trip overseas for Blinken and Xi. Okay, Evan, live in Washington. Well, we are joined again by Niall Sanage, White House columnist with The Hill. Niall, thank you for being with us again. Good to be here, Kelsey. So Republican senators are now pushing hard for this information and have been for quite some time. What can we expect inside this report? Well, we don't know because the Biden administration has so far not really given any indication of whether it is going to release this information. The facts here are pretty straightforward in that the act very blatantly stipulates that within 90 days of its passage, this information has to be provided. President Biden signed that act. When he did so, the only exception he sort of carved out in his so-called signing statement was any information that would endanger national security. So the White House hasn't said whether they're going to release the information, whether they're not. We really have very few indications. And I think into that silence, uh, skepticism then has uh, room to creep in, understandably so. Will the, will the American public get a firm answer on the origins of the coronavirus, a smoking gun, if you will, or will the information still be inconclusive? I suspect the information will still be inconclusive. Now, that's a separate issue from public opinion because there are obviously big swathes of the public who've already decided what they think. But will the evidence released, if it is released in this case, be conclusive? That seems really very questionable to me. These are very complicated matters about exactly what research was done. Can it conclusively be proven that the virus emerged, for example, from the Institute of Vir Virology rather than at the infamous market in Wuhan. Uh, I, I'm not persuaded that that is going to happen, but more information is always a good thing. Do you think that the White House will meet tomorrow's deadline? I, I mean, I, I really, uh, that's kind of a flip of a coin to decide that, Kelsey. I would assume that if they were going to, they would have been more willing to say that they were going to. Their silence to me suggests reluctance or reticence, but the terms of the law are the terms of the law. They could perhaps say that they're not releasing stuff because of those national security concerns. I would say it is unusual for the White House not to give any indication one way or another what it's going to do when the deadline, after all, is tomorrow. Well, what happens if they do not meet the deadline? Presumably, Republicans will express more outrage about that. I, I don't think it's, uh, now I, I stand corrected if I'm wrong here, but to my knowledge, it's not a law that imposes any sanctions for not meeting the deadline. It simply says that that deadline should be met. If it is not, clearly uh, senators beyond, I would suspect, Senators Hawley and Braun, on the Republican side will express their uh, fury at that, will try to add to the political pressure for the White House to produce this information. But uh, will they be successful? Uh, who knows? No one really has very clear guidance on that at, at all yet. Now, Stanage, we will be following and watching. Thank you for joining us throughout the evening. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.